Hello, people. I have two stories. I'm going to tell you a gangster story because people don't like the drama all the time. They want a little gangster story. And someone sent me some interesting, uh, interesting things the other day about this woman named Janice Drake. And this poor woman was always in the wrong place at the wrong time. And she was cheating on her husband both times. And uh, the second time didn't work out for her. Or the first time. But anyway, this is Janice Drake. She was Miss New Jersey and she was in the Miss America pageant and she represented New Jersey. And she was, as you can see, a beautiful woman. And uh, she was married to uh, Alan Drake, who was a very famous comedian back then. But she had this habit of cheating on her husband with gangsters. She used to love and uh so <laughs> here's her story it's pretty amazing the first time she ran into any trouble she was in the garment district and right where she, she used to love being in the garment because that's where the gangsters were back then but on this day albert anastasia was in a barber shop getting a shave and people walked in and as people know the Albert Anastasia story, he was sitting on his chair and he was murdered. He was killed uh, in a hit. And that, that's the takeover of the Genovese family. And it was uh, Vito Genovese started making his moves along with Costello. And they got into a war with Costello at that time. They attempted to kill him. So everything was crazy at this time. But Janice Drake happened to be there and witnessed the shooting. And so she had to testify. So she testified. And people were like, okay, uh, this beautiful woman testifies. She goes to court. Uh, she gives her testimony. And here she is coming. And she, when she's hiding one day, they're trying to take her picture right after uh, she testified about the Al Albert Anastasia shooting. She really didn't give any information. She was forced. Testify. But here's what happened. Uh, when she went out to the club a second time, she met with this gangster named Anthony Carafalo. Uh, and Anthony Carafalo was a big wig down in Miami. And at that time, he, cre he was creating gambling down there from the casinos all the way over to Miami. And uh, with Meyer Lansky, they were all in on it. But this guy was really this guy was really doing a really good job down there. But the problem is Vito Genovese wanted to take over. And when he called for Anthony Carafano to come meet, Carafano refused to come meet with him. So that's where the next guy comes in, Anthony uh, Strollo. Now, Anthony Strollo got uh, Anthony Carafano. Uh, Carafano to come to dinner and meet him. And so what happened when he went to meet him, Anthony Carafano all of a sudden got a phone call and he seemed nervous. But he And he was there with Janice Drake. So he said, Janice Drake, let's get out of here. And so they went to their car. He had a Cadillac and they decided to drive away. But what they didn't realize is that Strollo had put in Stroller right here is putting two killers in the back seat hiding in their Cadillac. And they made them go down a separate street and they executed Carafano. And not only that, they also executed Janice Drake. Uh, and that's a picture of her in the front seat. Uh, they shot her several times in the head. And they also shot Anthony Fano uh, several times in the head. So that was it. So people said, that they, they were saying that Janice Drake was basically murdered because she was a witness in Anastasia's murder. But that's not what happened. What happened was they wanted to really kill Anthony Carafano, and she just happened to be with him. So she once again was Buck being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Vito Genovese ordered his murder. And eventually, after she after he was murdered, guess who took over all the gambling down in Florida? Meyer Lansky. So pretty much, 
Meyer Lansky had convinced Genovese to take out Anthony Carafano because he wanted to take control. But the, fu the, the funny thing is poor Janice Drake, as beautiful as she is, cheating on her husband, happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And despite the fact of seeing the murder of Albert Anastasia, she never really gave any evidence. Nothing stuck. And she did it. And she was never murdered for witnessing that and testifying. She was murdered just for being with the wrong guy. I guess that's one of those things when you're cheating on your husband or a husband cheating on a wife, make sure you're in the right area. It didn't work out for this woman. And that's her in the front seat. And she said goodbye to life. And it's just a very interesting story that I wanted to share with you. Okay. So now I have a special. Guest. And uh, this special guest helped develop the pizza army. And he had some incidences happen tonight that kind of bothered him. And he has made a decision. He is no longer part of the pizza army. He has decided to go on his own way. So I'm going to bring uh, his name in this is Joey Capiano, but you guys know him as Johnny Mac. And Johnny does not get along with FBS, but then again, who the hell gets along with FBS? So what well, did you think of that story about that poor woman being in the wrong place? It's a shame, man. You know, but things like that happen. You know, it's a you shame. Know, you want to hang out with gangsters and stuff like that happen, I guess. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to call you Johnny Mac because that's what people know you yeah, by. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, Johnny, you know, I, call, I talked to you this afternoon, this morning, and I knew that you were recording me. It was, you know, because... Whenever we well, talk, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I so knew that. I, but I was just being safe. Right. Uh, when I, you know, and when I always say, when you say something to somebody on the phone, make sure that you can, that you mean what you say. Right. Because if you say something on the phone that's recorded that you don't mean what you say, then you can get called on it. And I meant everything I said. And then Tony played it, which is fine. Uh, but then there was another tape call. And it had to do with who? That would be Tom Lavecchia. Okay. And explain to me how this call was taped of Tom Lavecchia. Well, <clears throat> when Tom calls and texts me, it's not about me and us building a friendship. It's about Tony. You know, did you tell Tony this? Can you get Tony to do that? You know, it's text and calls. And it's like, I, since it's always about Tony... I said, you know what? He said, well, let, let me hear it. Call him and let me hear it. So I did. And I was letting Tony listen. Um, and during that phone call, I received a text from you that said, well, I figured that you were recording it. And then I got a notification that Tony had posted the phone call with me and you. So I was also recorded and stuff was posted, which... You know, I don't really want to be in that level of drama, you know, so I was a little, you know, surprised by that. So now I'm threatening to be sued and, and all that. It's like, but I didn't make any recordings. Who's so threatening to who's threatening to sue you? Tom wants to now press criminal charges and sue me in a civil suit. Um, I don't know how far that's going to go because I didn't I didn't record them. And every freaking text that I have from him is about Tony. And, you know, he he called me. I was returning the call back. I actually had Tony on speakerphone because I was going to try to get those two to talk and put this shit to bed. But as you, if you guys heard the tape, I couldn't get in a word in edgewise. You know, he kept steamrolling over top of me. So, you know, he asked me a question and then he answers it for me. <laughs> You know, what's the so I, I got to tell him, like, what is your objective here? Like, why do you give a shit what my perspective of Tony is? That's gonna, not going to do anything to. So to you're talking resolution. about your conversation with Tom. He was with Tom. steam. He was steamrolling you and basically uh, wouldn't let you get a word in. Right. Then he kept saying, I'll call you tomorrow when I'm, when I'm less heated and stuff. But, you know, it's what it, what it boils down to is it's too much drama. I get nonstop calls from people that want to soften up Tony through me. 
or they want to contact Tony through me. And I'm done with that. You know, if people have, if people want to talk to Tony, call Tony. If you don't have his number, it's because he doesn't want you to have his number. You know, I'm not delivering any more messages for anybody. That's a wrap. Okay. My channel is now called Johnny Mac. That's it. Are you, you know? done with the, are you done with the pizza army? No more pizza army. I'm still Tony's friend. I'm going to remain his friend. That's not going to stop. Do you but, think that's going to be possible after you coming out here and saying what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. Tony went after me something viciously the last couple of days. Do you think that he's going to treat you any other way? I don't think that he's going to attack me. It's I mean, he realizes that I've been with him since day one. You know, I've been supporting him not a lot financially, but when he's hard up, I throw him a couple bucks. I've defended him over and over again. I've brokered meetings and truces and stuff. I, I started the Pizza Army channel, you know, to, to have another platform to try to uh, fight this FBS piece of shit in Pennsylvania who's who started all this nonsense. Um, but that was the objective of Pizza Army, was to fight against that fraud in Pennsylvania. And what's happened is all of the people that I had become friends with and out. Tony's fighting with more people than just FBS. And it's becoming so much drama for me. Like I have a business that I run, which has been falling by the wayside a little bit because of all the drama. And uh, I'm not making any money by this. I don't, I don't have a cash app that I put up. I've spent money on an extra cell phone, um, webcams, an extra screen so I can read the chat at the same time. Like I'm in the hole because of this channel. I'm not making any money. This was meant to be as my entertainment and it's not entertaining anymore. You know, it's just nonstop. There's no drama. such thing as entertainment anymore in the, uh, in this genre. Exactly. Especially with people like, uh, FBS and Tony, uh, they're not going to let that happen. I mean, if anything right now, you two guys going at it and, uh, you know, it takes the focus uh, off of FBS, and that's that's the real culprit on on YouTube is is the ones that are out there scamming people out of money, bringing people's family members into it, you know, mothers and wives, and you know, it, that's those are the dirt bags, you know, the ones that are copying people's accounts. What is Make, it that you don't? What is it that you do not? I can name a thousand things. Uh, to me, FBS is the biggest phony on all these genres. What is it that you do not like about FBS? Well, first of all, I, I started watching him originally when he was um, going after Ramundi, or right before that, about, about that time. And I started watching some of his older videos, and I realized that this guy, you know, at first he's got the heart problem, and he's, he's basically trying to manipulate donations and that's obvious and then as time goes on he's beefing with people then his heart's fine you know then then the next day he's explaining how oh it's it's my heart's uh it's it's fine but it's not fine so i seen i saw the hypocrisy that was going on there and then you recognize certain things and He's just not uh, an honest person. He, he's a con artist. And, and I know that from running the streets. And I recognized it pretty quickly. And the fact that he, would, he drug Tony's mother into it first, he was the first one to do that. Um, I emailed him originally. I said, hey, look, this is guy Tony Pizza. He's got a great story. I think, you know, since you're a mob tube, right, that he would want to talk to this guy. Did he want to talk? Did he talk to him? No, he attacked him. You know, with the whole, I, I Googled you and nothing came up. Like, well, you can Google anybody's name. If they're not a rat, then you're not going to find much unless, in, you know, maybe some uh, criminal record or something like that. But, you know, you're not going to find, there's no fucking mafia directory that you can Google up and find names. Like, Well, if you, most, if you Google Paul Sicilian before he started doing this, who the hell knew his name? Right. And he's, and he, and that's just that. He's a freaking nobody who thinks he's a tough guy. He got close with Jimmy Calandra and the ego on this guy has just gotten out of control. You know, he, he thinks he's like a celebrity. Uh, he, he's drugged my name and he's copied my, my account, my wife's name, Tony's mother's name. And I mean, I'm sure the list is endless because he's fallen out with so many people. There's probably way more names being copied that I don't know about because I don't recognize the names because they're not my relatives, but I'm sure every person he falls out with, 
He pulls the same tactics. He said he would drop me a link. He never did. He blocked me and he ducks me. He sends me emails reaching out to me, asking me for a phone number. I go and buy a phone. He says he's going to call me. No bullshit. Does he call me? No. He ducks me because he's a coward. He's a fraud and he ain't shit. You know, Tony's proven that. You've proven that. And now with the whole thing with the uh, gun smoke and, and, and Chris and, and fucking up with their uh, troll accounts, they've just confirmed it even further. Like it's, it's indisputable that this guy has been ripping people off the whole time. And that my friend is just not good. You know? And we, and, and we, it hasn't, I, been, I, it, hasn't, bullshit. it hasn't been presented yet, but there's more evidence that came out last night that hasn't been presented yet about this whole thing. Yeah, he's buried with the money. Yeah. It, it, and you know, what bothers me is when I first met this guy, I thought he was a decent guy. And then all of a sudden, all these attacks on me, and some of them were deserving. But this guy, people have to remember that he's a street guy. He acts like a drug addict from the street. That's who he is. And he's still not 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 somebody in recovery. No. So what's I want to get that out there right now. That whole recovery thing is a crock of shit. There's no recovery in that house. They're both dope to their fucking gills, conning people out of money. You know, you could tell by watching his recovery show, it's a joke. He's bashing Al for being a drunk. He's taking, he's laughing about Sonny Money getting a beating. He's got people coming on there saying shit like, oh yeah, being clean is 10 times harder than active addiction. Well, you're not clean then, okay? Because I have seven years clean. And I can tell you, my life today is a million times easier than it was when, in active addiction. And that's a fact. So if this guy's saying that, he's not clean. So why is he platforming these people on, on a recovery show? It's a joke. It's another way to pull up people's heartstrings to manipulate. Plain and simple, that's it. And I just want to show people something. I want to prove, I want to show, give me one second, I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to show you how easy I triggered this guy yesterday. It was quite easy, a matter of fact, but I just want to show you. Because last night he was talking about how intelligent he was, what was going on, and yet he let stupid old me trigger him. So give me one minute here. While you're pulling that up, I just want to get to give a, a plug to Josie. I'm really looking forward to her book uh, about the mob tube wars. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait to read it. Uh, <clears throat> and this should be out soon. She's already started writing it. I think some of the chapters are available to watch. Go ahead. So I want to show this right here. Here's something that he said on his first show last night get paid for it okay and now the name of my channel is fat bald sicilian mob too so every dime i've made since i changed it even if i don't receive it until next month but then again you can include super chats and these cash apps i just got that's payment for the word mob too okay do you understand now uh this is the reason the lawyer told me you can if you want first of all for all i know somebody owns it they don't own it i don't know that maybe they could sue me i i have no idea look at this um yeah that really doesn't matter uh gen xer uh it really doesn't um yes i thought this not um, I forget what I was at exactly, but that's what it comes down to. I've been paid time and time again for MobTube. Now the name of .com, the website, and boy, I better buy it. Lee, I have no plans on starting a website. Who even cares about websites anymore? It okay, you hear him, right? Who even cares about website? He said two things last night. Who cares about websites? And then he also said that he wasn't going to talk about me. So here's what I did last night. I purposely went and did a video on MobTube, purposely, to make him talk about me. And then he did a three, four-hour show last night, and he talks about me talking about him. Like, I'm on his dick and stuff. Just the thought of that is disgusting. But I, it's very easy to trigger this guy because he's not nearly as intelligent as he thinks. And that's exactly what I did. I triggered him and he went on, like I'm triggering him right now.
he's going to have a show now attacking me tonight because I'm triggering him. He's not hard to trigger people. He's one, he's not as intelligent as he says he is, and he's very easy to trigger. Okay, so, and let's get back to Mob 2. I'm going to break some news to him. He came out with a receipt. So here's what he did. After he said that he has nothing to do with websites, he went out and he got mob slash tube.com. So basically, he didn't get mobtube.com. He got mob slash. And my website is mobtubers.com, which I own. So he went out and registered this domain and he puts it up last night. So for a guy that's not concerned, he's making these silly moves right now. And here's what I found out. MobTube is actually, uh, actually has been owned since 2004. It's been out there. It's for sale, a matter of fact, right now. And it tells you how long it's been for sale. So this man doesn't have his facts straight. He's not selling it. It is for sale. And then on you, uh, and if you go to Facebook, there's a woman there that uses MobTube and it comes on in a TV screen and stuff and it's called MobTube. So what do you think about that stuff uh, that I just shared with you? I think that uh, he likes to make people believe that, that he doesn't care, but the second he gets off of those lives, that's the first thing he was doing was Googling, you know, what, what names he could buy, what's available, you know, what's owned, what's not owned. He, he's full of shit. What, what he worries about, he spins and say, that's what we, we worry about. Whatever, whatever shortcomings he has, he spins it on, puts it on us. So, I mean, he's, he's, you're right. He's not as smart as he thinks he is. He's, he's actually pretty simple, you know, and, and another thing, who puts their woman out there, you know, next to him riding shotgun to like a crash dummy to what take half the hit. It's like, like Joey said, a Bay eighth, a, a real street guy would know automatically that you don't expose your weakness. And he put her right there next to him, you know, and she's sitting there talking shit just like him. And then he wants to complain. Why are you bringing my wife into it? Because she brought herself into it. You don't see my wife sitting there running her mouth. Cause it's ridiculous. Would you, would you and your wife smoke in a house where you had children and stuff? No, no, we, we never did that. And I, I had, I got three kids. They're all adults. I raised all three of them, the same woman. And we don't, we never smoked in the house. Uh, you, you got to think about more than just yourself. He's a selfish dirtbag. You know, he is that that's undeniable. And what uh, do you think about these people that show up on his show like uh, Big Lou now and uh, this actor. Like, I went on their show the other day because I basically wanted to wish them good luck because I seen that they were starting a new channel. So they went on to his channel last night and this actor, Perry, and they were talking a lot of shit after everything was fine on their, on their show. So they were basically like him, dirtbags. So... What do you think about him going out and finding these dirt bags to start new channels? Well, I think that he's he's trying to uh, replicate what Tony did with Pizza Army. He's looking to build an army of his own to try to fight back. But the only thing is, the only people he hangs out with and associates with are punks and frauds and rip off artists, artists and junkies and losers, people that have no moral fiber at all. They'll sink. They'll sink as probably as low as him, if not lower, because you see the type of crap they put in the chats when they copy the names, you know, so he can try that. But in the end, these people aren't going to have any loyalty to him. Like people can say anything they want about me. I've been the most loyal person out there to Tony. Um, I've, I've looked out for his best interest, even when he didn't think it was his best interest. You know, I tried to uh, make friends with people, you know, and try to build some allies, which I did. Um, I just, it's, the drama's gotten too much. So, so what do you think about the way he talks about how intelligent he is? And Chris how he's, a, is, how he's ahead of everybody else. Yeah, he's not as ahead as he thinks he is. That's, that's what, that's what liberals do. They say a lie so many times. 
it's brainwashing. If I say it a thousand times, maybe, uh, you know, 800 out of a thousand people will believe it. You know, that's, that's the tactics that he uses. Say the lie enough, people start to believe it. Even he believes it. But uh, he's been proven that he's not as smart as he thinks he is. They've exposed themselves multiple times, like the info that's getting ready to come out on them. You know, that was a blunder that they, a mistake they made by not paying attention. Um, they made a big, they made a bad mistake and it's going right. to be coming out in a day or so. And if he was, was a smart stupid mistake last night, because it just goes to show one thing that there was a scam going on and they were working together. Absolutely. Uh, two, the two of them were working together and uh, it's pretty scummy what they were doing. What do you think about the fact that they attacked Ali after Ali gave them all that money over a period of time? That just shows the level that, that, that Chris has absolutely no decency what, whatsoever. You know, regardless of what you think of the guy, the guy gave you a boatload of money, right? So at the very least, shouldn't you cuss him out privately? If you want to tell him to go fuck himself, do it privately. You're going to do that live? You prove he, I saw that. He was showing these receipts. He kept turning his phone around and showing the receipts. And he was like, see, I proved it. What else do you want? But I don't need your money anyway. You can go fuck yourself. I couldn't believe that. Like, that's, those are people that have zero morals, values, zero personal integrity. They're just shitbags. He's, he's, he is a scumbag, and there's no doubt about it. You know, his wife is a scumbag. You know, it's... Their actions prove it. It's not just their words; it's their actions. You know, it's and if, say when what do you, what will you say when people say, "Well, here's Lee talking about some talking to somebody that was against him at one time." I say that that is uh, the sign of a man able to put differences aside and work things out. You know, the biggest. First of all, I know for a fact that there's a few actors that he's had on his show that are not happy with the way he's acting and the things that he's doing because these actors are now embarrassed for being on his platform and find out he's scamming people. I'm not going to say their names, but there was one in particular that I had, that I happen to know for a fact, who was a, a very big actor that was, that he had on there that is very unhappy with the things that he's done and the manipulations and the stuff that he's saying. Do you have, do you, have you heard anything about Jimmy Calandra talking behind this guy's back that he's not happy with uh, Sicilian? That I haven't heard. Okay, well, that I haven't heard. That's what I heard today, and I heard it from a very reliable source. Well, if, he, if, if Jimmy has any sense at all, he'll cut that fucking guy loose. And You know what I mean? Because he's not going to do anything but bring him down. I mean, he's, all he does is start shit. You know, that he has no content. His intro says he has no content. You know, it, there's a clip of Michael Franzese. I've said this many times saying that he won't build his platform off of uh, talking about other people. And then you got Chris's fat, ugly fucking face pops up, and he's like, but I will. Yeah, that says it right there. You got no content. You admitted it. You know, he admits that he tells people to strike, uh, to copyright strike people. He, he admits to not stopping his family from calling the cops. He admits that he's a cop caller. He admits that he's a rat. He's caught scamming people. He puts his woman out there like a crash dummy. He drags in people's families names i mean what what more do these people need to see to realize this guy is the scum of the fucking earth and he's the original doxer he did the first doxing exactly and he 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 says other people did the doxing he's the original he started it on stack show when he handed uh thin gray line my phone number he and i started said it and i've come out publicly and i've said many times and i'll say it again i don't agree with the doxing I don't agree with bringing families into it, especially wives and children and things like that. So what like do you that. think about when Tony called the parents and stuff of those, uh, and be honest, when he called the parents of Gunsmoke and, uh, uh, and even Chris's parents? Well, he didn't, he didn't threaten the life of Chris's parents. He didn't. He said, hey you know, your son put my mother in the hospital, maybe, you know, he, by dra dragging my mother's name on the YouTube. So maybe I can do the same to you, meaning like expose you to YouTube the way his mother was exposed. But what do you think about him doing it? I think that, I think that when Chris, 
went after his mother and exposed his mother's information, I think that all bets are off. How about when he did it to, uh, how about when he did it to Gunsmoke? Oh, Gunsmoke's just as guilty as Chris. He's in there using those troll names, starting shit. So, you know, his, his dad, you know, I think took it pretty well. You know, he's like, what do he say? Something like your son uh, gave me stitches for biting my cock. And the guy was like, come on, or something like that. And he, he took it as a joke, you know, but yeah, he deserved I, it. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that we got to leave families out of this. I agree too. I agree too. Like I, I don't, I think that, Families should be left out of it. I think Tony was leveling the playing field. I don't think that it's not something I would do personally. You know, I, uh, I think that fam, I don't think we need to do that to beat FBS. He's going to beat himself by exposing all this dirt bag maneuvers that he's doing. Like we don't have to do anything, but hit him with facts in my opinion. Well, I think you're right there. And I think that what's going to happen at this point, uh, how many more people can he betray that are close to him? Right. I right. mean, and he's saying, oh, that I'm going out. He acts like the people around me are dumb and dirtbags. I'll tell you what, I'll guarantee you the people around him are not nearly as intelligent as, say, Josie, who had my issues with me. And I can guarantee you, Chris, you have half the brain I have. You might think you're more intelligent. But you're not. anybody that has to keep saying how intelligent they are, are people are jealous of? What do you think when he says people are jealous of him? He's jealous of other people. That's that's what that's what I think. And once again, he's spinning it. Um, he what what the fuck would he possibly have that anybody would be jealous of? His four thousand viewers. Ooh, four thousand viewers. But half of even them I bots. realize that. But even bots. I realize that I do not have a lot of viewers. You know and. Someone now, what did you see? Uh, there was this, this guy that just came out that got accused of wanting money, wanted Chris to do a, a show for him to make money. Did you hear anything about that? I didn't hear anything about that. Well, this guy's come out and he put out a video on this and he's basically said that uh, he's not too happy with Chris. He said Chris was, his, it was a good friend of his and he turned on him too. And I'm not going to mention that guy's name, Chris, you know who I'm talking about because of the fact that uh, he was literally with you from the very beginning and you, he, he hung him out to dry. This is what Chris does. He never calls people up. He acts like life is his show. He can go on his show and hang people out to dry. This is what he does. He's not a very nice man. And, you know, this is why anybody that's ever come with it cr across him, this is what happened. And Jeff Nadu, I'm shocked because Jeff Nadu and I had a debate one time and I did a number on him. Oh yeah. You kicked his ass in that one. <laughs> but here's the thing. <clears throat> I have no problem with Jeff. It happened. But the fact of the matter is he set Jeff up that day. And then he tells Jeff, Oh, I'm sorry. That he then did, he I puts saw. on the video and plays it again and gets another 3000 views about a month later. So if he was so sorry, why did he replay that? that whole thing with Jeff Nadeau. He set Jeff Nadeau up. And if Jeff Nadeau, you know, is simple enough to forgive him for that after what he did, then Jeff, you should forgive me too, because I did a whole lot less to you than what he did. And I'll he tell you somebody, you I'll tell you somebody who's not going to forgive him is Vinny. You know, like I remember like uh, Chris was sponsoring him at the beginning, helping him get his channel started. And then uh, when he, started saying that Vinny was scamming, you know, money, the fundraiser for the kids with cancer. I couldn't, I could not believe my ears when I heard that, you know, that's, that's, that's a low blow. To is somebody Vinny, is Vinny to sick right now? Vinny has cancer. And Vinny, has, Vinny has cancer and he's being treated with, he's, he's, he's on the chemo. And how does Vinny feel right now about uh, FBS? Oh, he's, he, he can't stand them. You know, can you blame him? Like, th that's what you're going to say. You know that the guy had a, a young stepbrother, you know, that passed away from cancer. So he does these uh, charity drives. And that's that's his thought. He thinks about that. Every day he thinks about his stepbrother that passed. And, and I'm sure Chris knows that. And to do that to him, like, what kind of a loyalty do you have for your friends? Like, that, that, that was 
I was flabbergasted, you know, and then the, the same thing with with the uh, Bay Eighth. You know, he says one thing that I'm a stand up guy because I came on Vinny's show and I wanted to ask him. I said, you know, I want to know why do you support FBS with the same questions that you just asked me? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? I said, what do you think about him telling Ali Chabar to go fuck himself? And the reason I asked him that was because Ali Chabar was a wrench in Vinny and Joey's show that day. So I wanted to know, like, what is your opinion on this guy and why do you defend him like that? And he got passionate and he wanted to throw me off the show. And afterwards I said, hey, look, I was just reaching out to ask, you know, some questions for an explanation. I wasn't trying to disrespect you or start a fight. I just was really one. I, I was wondering because both of those guys seem like solid, intelligent guys. So I wanted to know what is the deal? Why you guys like this guy so much? And uh, it, it blew up in his face because FBS said, you know, you can't be friends with this guy. You can't be friends with that guy. You can't go on this show. You can't go on that show. You know, men don't do that to other men, to, to their friends. You don't, you know, no. Tony never said I couldn't be friends with Vinny. And I'm friends with Vinny. He may not like it, but he's certainly not going to stop being my friend because of it. You know, Chris will do something like that. You know, it's, it's childish. It's juvenile. And uh, it's the reason he doesn't have any friends. You know? Well, he thinks he has a bunch of friends. He's always bragging about all the friends he has. I think he should look around and see the, uh, what kind of friends he exactly has. You know? He doesn't know what a, what a good friend is. He doesn't know what loyalty is. He doesn't. You know, he's exploited everybody he's had on there. You know, literally everybody. I will take, I, I will take the people around in my life right now and he shows over the people he has. And the fact that he, he makes fun of intelligent people shows what a moron he is. And well, look what he did to Gunsmoke, you know, with the, with the whole when the doxing happened. You know, he didn't say one damn thing to stick up for him after Gunsmoke's had his back. You know, he says, oh, he's a grown man. He's got to deal with the stuff at, uh, his own way. You yeah. know, like that, that said, that, if that didn't say enough to his viewers right there, you know, then they're, they're just, they're in there looking for drama. And that's plain and simple. They're, they're not really supporting him. They're pushing him to keep doing the stupid shit. That's it. You know, if he, if he got in a jam, you think any of those people would come bail him out? Absolutely not. You think Tony gets in the jam, there's going to be a bunch of people coming to, to, to get to his rescue. You know, if you got in a jam, you got a bunch of followers that will come to your rescue because they're real loyal people that give a shit. They're not just there to start nonsense. You know, that's that's the whole reason I wanted to to get on here was because of Chris, because I've never seen the level of dirt bagness out of anybody like like him. It, like, I couldn't believe it. So now, you know, that he's going to put you on his uh, little special list. Oh, uh, yeah. His shit list. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Because he's, I, he's I, awesome. I take it. I, I call it an honor to be on his shit list. You know, so if I was you, I would consider it the same. I toy with him and I play with him every day. And he and he thinks that he's winning when he's not. See, what what he used to do with 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 other people, he used to have them come after me and do dirty work by going after my family and stuff. Right. And get exactly. involved and stuff like that. Same he thing never... he did to you. He did to Tony. Same thing he did to Tony. He tried with me. You know, it's the same tactics over and over again because that's all he has is childish bullshit spin doctor tactics. That's it. There's well, nothing. There's know, no real content or dirt. That, well, I like to welcome you aboard, and uh, you're you, you. You seem like a very intelligent man. You speak damn well. Well, thank and you. You and I, we've had this conversation that you have the gift. You definitely speak better than he does. And uh, if you keep it going in the right direction, you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to stop on FPS. I'm still going to be around, you know. But I, I have to subtract myself from some of the drama because it, it's it's too consuming. And I'm not saying I'll never have Tony on again. It's just not going to be as frequent. It's not going to be the a pizza army movement. Um, people like to lump me in with him. Everything he does, they they hold me accountable. And I keep trying to explain that I'm I'm a grown man. He's a grown man. He makes up his own mind. He he makes his decisions, and I do mine thing. He I doesn't need anybody helping him. He does. He does he'll do he does. fine by himself. I Absolutely. Mean, there's just just like you will, and just what like I will. 
the reality is we don't need anybody helping us, especially against FBS. And uh, right. let him think how smart he is. Um, I will purposely do everything I can to make sure MobTube goes everywhere because of the creep he is. And he has no he has no authority to stand on when it comes to the name MobTube. He thinks he does. But then he's going to have to go to uh, other people using MobTube. He's going to have to figure out why that's been available since 2004. Someone's literally held it. You could purchase it from them. But you know what? They're going to charge you top dollar to purchase it. That's why I went out and got MobTuber, tubers.com. Just pluralize it and that's it. So we'll let him be as intelligent. We'll, tell, we'll let him tell us how tonight how intelligent he is on this Christmas Eve. Uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I think you said everything you have to say. Yeah. Uh, and you're welcome to come on here anytime you want. Thank you. Just let me know and uh, we can talk things out. Um, no hard oh, feelings, dude. Yeah. There's no hard feelings. People make mistakes in this all the time. You know, so I just want to let you know that. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Despite all the drama and stuff going on, uh, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And I hope everybody's having a, a really good holiday and spend time with your family. That's what it was subtracting from me. You know, that's what's important to me is family. And this is the, this is the day for it. So Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, I will uh, see you in the future. And you take care of my man. I'm going right, to drop buddy. this Thanks video very shortly. You take care awesome. of yourself. All right, brother. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye.